Oh, hey, uh, Tom Merritt here. I just started a new show at Revision 3 called Tom's Top 5. I don't know if you know, but I used to work for CNET, did a bunch of videos over there, podcasts. I do tech news today on uh, Twit Network. I'm really excited to get started here at Revision 3 on Tom's Top 5. I mean, these guys work hard. They do great internet video. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm raring to go. We're going to go ahead into the studio right now and start our first episode. Studios this way. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Um, what's the code they gave me? I, I, I mean, I swear they said we're starting today. Top five. Right. Hey, do you work here? Because um, I'm starting a new show and I just need to get into the studio. All right, great. All right, let's get started. Come on. This episode of Tom's Top Five is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome to Tom's Top 5, where each time we meet, we count down another hot list. I'm Tom Merritt. People love the gadgets, and GDGT.com, pronounced gadget.com, loves to help people keep track of their gadgets. So you two together, kind of like love or something. We asked gadget.com to tell us just what products you are lusting after the most in your little hearts and on your gadget want lists. Let's count down the top five most wanted products. At number five, the Google Nexus One. It failed to revolutionize the way we buy phones. In fact, it failed to even get on the Sprint or Verizon, but it didn't fail to capture your hearts. Coming in at number four, the Droid Incredible. I think you can see the trend. Phones, and particularly Android phones, dominate. Eight megapixel camera, one gigahertz Snapdragon processor. This is why Verizon didn't think they needed the Nexus One. Up to number three, the HTC Evo 4G. And it's no wonder you desire this beauty. It's big screen. It's fast 4G. The way it puts out HDMI. Too bad the battery peters out so quickly. Sliding in at number two, the Apple iPad. Not an Android device, not even a phone. Everyone wondered if anyone would need a tablet like this. Who cares? You obviously want one. Before we get to number one, time for a stupid trivia question. If we included operating systems on this list, where would iOS 4 rank? That's the one that used to be called iPhone OS. Post your answers at the forums at revision3.com slash Tom's Top 5, and you could be chosen to win this maroon iPhone case once touched by Veronica Belmont. All right, let's get to our number one, the gadget that got seven times more once than its nearest competitor. At number one, it's the Apple iPhone 4. The retina display is fetching, I'll give you that. And those exterior antenna are both stylish and practical. But are you sure, everyone? I mean, I hear it hangs around in bars and it'll go home with just about anyone. It'll even do things for money. Tawdry. Well, that's it for this edition of Top 5. Don't forget to answer the stupid trivia question for a chance to win the Belmont Touched iPhone case at the forums at revision3.com slash Tom's Top 5. And if you don't like this list, change it. Create your most wanted list at gadget.com. I'm Tom Merritt. See you next time. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com. Squarespace is a publishing system for anybody looking to build a blog, portfolio, business website, or any kind of website. I've done a couple of my podcasts on it, and Squarespace offers a uniquely flexible tool for just about anybody. You don't have to know a bunch of coding, all that complex stuff, although if you are a little CSS expert, you can use that. It's adaptable to your skill level. Squarespace's newly launched site importer tool makes things really easy to move over. Whether it's WordPress, Blogger, TypePad, Movable Type, it'll keep all of your users URL structure exactly the same when you move it over. So why not give it a try? Go to squarespace.com, try it out, import your site. You'll get 14 days free when you use the code TOM5 at squarespace.com.